Curious what business analytics are and how you might land a job in this sweet sector? Cool, because in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you really quickly, including what business analytics are, who builds them, and what else these mysterious business analytics builders have to do all day besides play with data. And be sure to stick around to the end because that's where I'm gonna share with you where you can go to pick up the skills you need in order to actually land a job in business analytics. For the very best data leadership and business building advice, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be first to know when the next episode drops. Also, thank you so much for everyone who's leaving comments and sharing ideas for what I should create videos on. I'm really working hard to build this community and so every little bit of support is helpful and thank you so much. I always like to start my videos with just discussing um, why I'm bringing this up now and I have been working on the update or the rewrite of my book Data Science for Dummies. It's in its third edition now and so of course a business analytics is a topic that came up in the book and I thought I might pop over here and just share some wisdom and knowledge with you about what business analytics are and what you can do with them. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Lillian Pearson and I support data professionals to becoming world-class data leaders and entrepreneurs. We're going to start first with a very most basic thing. What are business analytics? So I broke it down for you really quickly just by drawing it out. It's pretty simple actually. Business analytics is the practice of taking data, like structured data you would see in an in Excel file, and looking for trends and patterns that trying to draw conclusions from that data that you can then use to help the business, your employer, make more money. And so when I say make more money, I mean in terms of saving them money or earning them, increasing the amount of money they're making from existing revenue streams or even creating new revenue streams altogether. And if you're not aware, there are four types of analytics. So I just did a video on that recently and I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you'd like to learn more about the four types of analytics. In terms of who builds analytics, a lot of people would hear the analytics word and then automatically think that a data scientist is the one producing business analytics. And in some cases that is true, but the automatic conclusion business analytics and data scientists um, going together is probably more to do with just media and the popularity of data science these days. So really, business analytics is more of the domain of the business analyst or the quant, the quantitative analyst. In some cases, you might have a data manager or a business analyst manager building business analytics. And so it really depends on the company you're working at and how, they, how mature they are in terms of um, their data team. You don't want to um, spend your budget having a data scientist build out business analytics if you have someone else on hand that can do it um, at a more, defor more affordable rate because data scientists are pretty much the most expensive type of data professional to keep on staff. The more that you can delegate the work away from data scientists and give it to junior, junior data professionals like business analysts, the more optimal your expenditure will be for your data team. So if you were thinking about, hey, I want to I want to get into the business analytics field, I would probably start with going after the business analyst title. And definitely, definitely, definitely companies are looking to hire business analysts, any types of professionals that can create great business analytics because they need them in order to inform their decision making, in order to make sure they stay competitive and keep the company profitable and running well. Definitely the business analytics demand is not going anywhere. And so that's not something you need to worry about. But this whole discussion about data scientists versus a business analyst does beg the question of what's the difference between data scientist and a business analyst. And if that's something you're curious about, awesome, because I'm just about to answer it for you. But first, I want to hear from you. What industry are you working in and how are you looking to make a difference with business analytics skills? Tell me in the comments below. I promise to reply back. Okay, so looking at the difference between data science and business analytics. When you're building out business analytics, you're generally only using tools. Whereas if you're doing data science, you're generally using tools, a combination of tools and code. Additionally, with business analytics, you depend mostly on pretty rudimentary mathematics and statistics. Whereas in data science, you're gonna be going into pretty sophisticated statistical modeling, as well as you need to have pretty solid expertise in computer science. Now with data science, the work that you're doing on a daily basis can be exploratory or outcome -come driven. So what I mean by that is a data scientist is generally exploring data, looking for patterns and trends and ways to make money, value generating um, insights from the data 
And then at times they're also trying to answer a specific question for people in the business. So that would be the outcome driven approach. Whereas business analytics are generally outcome driven. So you create them for a purpose to answer a question for a business user. Because business analysts generally don't have the level of mathematics and statistical expertise as data scientists, then it's not really in their real house to be doing too much exploratory analysis. As you can see, data scientists is very similar to business analytics, but just a level up in terms of sophistication. Hence the reason data scientists command a higher salary in general um, compared to business analysts. And the good news here is that you don't have to go back to college, earn a STEM degree, or get a degree in statistics in order to become a business analyst. It's a lot more of an accessible role in terms of the formal training that's generally required. That said, if you can pick up some R programming, Python skills, and also get some skills in com cloud computing, as a business analyst, that's really gonna go a long way in helping you find a great job because it's basically a way for you to kind of fill the gaps where there's a lack of data science professionals or data scientists. If you have those coding skills, you can kind of finesse your way up the data career ladder that way. And if business analytics is something you feel like you might want to explore more, I would definitely suggest checking out the video I created on the top five reasons not to become a data analyst. We will leave a link to that in the description below as well as in the cards to this video. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video because this is where I'm going to share with you some of the best places I found in order to get the skills you need to actually land a job in business analytics. And I tend to prefer more affordable approaches for um, learning data skills. I taught myself data science and I don't think that there's a necessity uh, for most people to go out and spend tens of thousands of dollars on an education in order to learn these skills. So the big elephant in the room when it comes to any type of data position, especially analytics and data science, is do I need to go back to university and get a degree in the field? And the answer to that is it really depends on your background. So if you already have a STEM degree, you already have the math and the statistics you would need in or and the quantitative analytical type thinking that you would need in order to build business analytics. So if you have a STEM degree, then I would say no, do not go back and spend more money on formal education to get an analytics degree. However, if you have a degree in any other field besides the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, and math, then it is actually a good idea to go and get a quantitative degree. And if you already know you want to go into business analytics, then I would recommend go and get formal credentials from a university because it's going to train your mind in the rigorous, the rigorous approach of analytical thinking and problem solving. And you really do need to have that experience and exposure before moving into building business analytics professionally. That said, if you already have a degree in STEM, then I would just say go over to Udemy and buy some of their 999 courses. Well, any type of a data skill, Udemy is a great place just to go and, and pick learn the topics the easy way um, with great teachers and with the low expenses. So I'm going to hop over to my laptop real quick and just show you the courses I recommend if you want to learn how to build business analytics. Um, in terms of the first course I would recommend taking if you're brand new to business analytics, um, so you're on level one, I would say for learning fundamental analytics skills, um, try this introduction to business analytics course because it's going to teach you basic business analytics best practices, terminology, um, it's going to provide you an introduction to analytical methods and the analytics life cycle, but it's not going to be too overwhelming. You don't want to start with something too sophisticated and then get burnt out. This course is also covering data management, architecture, quality, and privacy issues, as well as business analytics foundation. So you're going to learn about the four types of data analytics and whatnot, but I told you also and whatnot. After that, you can go over to um, learn how to turn data into insights, basically the process I was telling you about how to actually take raw data and convert it to some sort of conclusion that generates business <laughs> Um, generates value for your employer. So this course, Complete Introduction to Business Data Analysis, will be very helpful to you in that. What I really like about this course is it offers drag and drop techniques to master analytics. So I, I recommend when you're new, just keep it simple and um, you don't need to have too many confusing formulas and scripts. And this course will teach you how to do drag and drop techniques. It also teaches you data presentation and design skills as well as, well as data analysis techniques. And you'll learn the process of turning data insights into actionable steps businesses can take to fuel growth. Well, lastly, it'll teach you how to build um, interactive dashboards, which I thought was really cool for an intro to data analysis course. For level three, the third course I would recommend taking if you want to learn um, business analytics is to take this 12 easy steps to Python for data analysis. It's a beginner's course. 
and it's going to teach you the basics of Python programming and how to start automating things, as well as how to use Python to uncover conclusion, you know, basically create those data insights that generate value. So it's just one, it's kind of one level up from um, traditional business analytics, and it will be helpful to you to have a little bit of Python expo um, exposure if you're looking to get into the business analytics space. So I went ahead and included that here as well. If you like this video on business analytics and you're seriously considering whether you should go for some sort of data position, then I want to recommend to you to take my data superhero quiz. It's a fast, fun, 45 second quiz, and it will help you uncover the ideal type of role for you, given your passions, skill sets, and natural aptitude. We'll leave a link to it in the description below. Also, I have a really fun Facebook group called Becoming World Class Data Leaders and Entrepreneurs. You're invited to join us. We will leave a link to it in the description below as well. And if you like this video, be sure to show it some love by giving it a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what is it about the business analytics field that is most interesting to you.